Okay, so I had to share this with you outside of the normal review. I did a review on these billing um, solar garden lights, these things, uh, whenever the hell it was at this point. doesn't make a difference because I have no idea when this video is going to be released. Anyhow, here it is. Sharp-eyed viewers of my channel will remember that I reviewed these lights before. These were marketed under Longans, L-O-N-G-A-N-S brand, and it finally turned nice out, and I put these out, and it worked for a fucking day, and it died, because China. That's right, because China. These lights are identical, and I'll just show you how much crap they are, <laughs> but hey, they were free, so um, anyway... They're identical, almost. Take a look. See the horizontal line in the solar panel? Look at the LEDs. They're just slightly offset from each other. The base, which I don't have here because it's still on the ground, looks identical. The same fail stainless steel that we all know is going to rust. You know, it's otherwise identical. I don't know why the horizontal line there seems broken this one came pre-scratched yeah right there I don't know if the camera makes it out so that's nice too but you know they're just there and when it did work it worked great the problem with this was so simple it was the switch it's got like a rubber boot over it and you know it just stopped working and then I would pick it up off the ground and try to move the switch then I could get it to work but it was like a hair trigger where it was and then two days later it stopped working also notice how the base broke off in the two holes there okay no big deal so I look up the order and I got it back in October that's why it broke I guess I don't know but anyway uh, I said, okay, let me see what their warranty is. Well, they have a very interesting warranty. This is on the, not the billing one, but the Longans one. They have a 92-day warranty. Exactly 92 days. And being that this is now the end of May, back from October, of course, the warranty's up. So I ordered myself a new set of Longans one, and they're going to get the broken one back. Simple as that, just for being China. The billing one, on the other hand, has a one-year warranty that it says somewhere here. Um, I don't remember where I saw it. Yeah, 12-month warranty and satisfaction guaranteed. So why is this otherwise identical light, this is warranted for 92 days, and that is warranted for... A full year. Oh, and incidentally, I went to open this thing up. So you got four screws, no problem. Take those out. The cover comes off of that. And then this plastic cover with the white around it, as you see, that's like a silicone seal, that pops off. And then the rest of it, including the solar panel, is stuck inside of this thing. And I tried prying it and I couldn't get it to budge. I tried like jamming on the switch to like push it out, something. It just didn't want to budge, and somehow while prying, that happened. So it even injured me, the motherfucker. But the billing, of course, is not out of the question because it has some really, really fun um, chinglish or English or whatever you want to call it. Uh, warning, please do not put it in the fire as there is a fear of explosion. Not really a fear, but more of a risk. Please be careful not to shake as it will cause malfunction. Hmm, that's interesting. And do not disassemble the light. Do not disassemble the light unless it is a specialized technician. Failure to do so may result. Okay. <laughs> and uh you know, and the rest here, I'll, I'll just, you know, give it a minute here. You can pause to read some more of the English. 
and here's this page here just to read some of the English and that's gonna just about do it so they're junk don't buy them um, the the steak on them I mean look at this thing come on really and then what happens is even though this fits in like that first of all these spikes are sharp and they'll hurt you this set did originally when I put it together so they're sharp but it doesn't do any damn good because then what happens is invariably somebody will step on it and when they step on it it just does that you see how it's crooked there and what that's going to do is it's going to pop off of these two pins and break those two off how do you think that happened I got a couple others like that too and I'm going to make sure those go back also so these are crap they're junk uh, if anything, I would say you're probably better off just using them like that. Pop them on the ground and don't worry about them. When you mow, let them get chopped up by the mower because they're crap anyway. I don't know what else to say. They're, they're a good idea, but they suck. And I think these were on some sort of infomercial, uh, like as seen on TV something a while ago. But um, yeah, China products and that. But it just shows to go you that once again Harbor Freight by any other name it's still the same these lights have very minor differences this was produced in one factory this was in the factory next door and I've often found that in the factories one factory gets the nice stuff and the other factory gets the retarded stuff like my Harbor Freight three gallon air compressor from some time ago the first one I got not knowing happened to have a fuse in it for uh, protection uh, uh, of the motor in case it was short circuit or something like that while the other one had a circuit breaker it's the same compressor why would they do that because one factory gets the retarded ideas and the other gets the good idea. Actually, what it comes down to is corporate American greed sends the blueprints over to China and they say, current protection device, 5 amps. That could be a fuse or a circuit breaker. And it's up to China to decide what they're going to use, where they can get it cheaper from, or what affiliates, alliances, or whatever they have. So anyway, that's it. This camera battery is about dead, so I got to change it anyway. And I just wanted to share that all with you. So, once again, Harbor Freight, by any other name, it's still the same. There's no such thing as name brand anymore. It's made in the same factory in China. The only difference is the name haphazardly slapped on. Or in this case, no name at all. Just a very subtle, minor difference that if I didn't point out, you probably wouldn't have ever noticed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.